So hi, I am Srinath Ravichandran, one of the co-founders and the CEO of Agnikul Cosmos. So at Agnikul Cosmos, we are building small rockets or small launch vehicles that can take uh, satellites to space on demand. Basically, we want to go to space, I want anyone to go to space within a two-week time frame. Yeah, so me and my other co-founder, his name is Moin. We were just space. We we are doing other things actually. I was working in finance. Moin was working in contract manufacturing. But we both were aerospace enthusiasts. We were just interested in doing something in aerospace. We realized uh, we need an academia partner, right? And we reached out to multiple professors across the country in IITs. And one prof out of IIT Madras, his name is Professor Satya Chakravarti. He showed some interest and that's where the whole thing started in uh, December 2017. We operate out of the IIT Madras ecosystem. We have multiple facilities in and around Chennai, like a 3D printing uh, facility for just making our rocket engines, a testing facility, an assembly facility and so on. So that is what uh, we are uh, really focused on today. And our customers are basically anyone who's building a small satellite and who wants to go to low Earth orbit. And we focus on a class of satellites that are lesser than 300 kgs in mass because we are able to take them and put them in space in a very quick manner. And we do that with two or three different technologies that we've already you know, uh, figured out so far. One is like 3D printing. We make our rocket engines with our single piece systems. Basically the entire engine is made in one shot through 3D printing. A vehicle is also configurable in the sense you can grow the vehicle or shrink the vehicle depending upon the satellite that you want to take to space. And it is possible from uh, for launching this from a mobile launch pad. So we can go to any launch pad in India and launch from there. And I think that's an important factor to enable quick launches through the country. So where we are today is uh, we have accomplished all of the subsystem development. We know each of the systems independently work. Now we are putting on, uh, working on putting things together and making this integration process work smoothly so that we can start attempting launches. We are hoping for a launch as soon as, you know, by the end of this year, maybe in the next four or five weeks. And after that, that will be a test launch. But after that, also looking at commercial launches starting from Q2 of 2023, calendar year Q2 of 2023. The, with the goal again being, can anyone be going to space within a two week time frame? So the rocket is a, it's a two-stage rocket. Uh, both of them are driven by what we call semi-cryogenic liquid propulsion engines. Uh, that is burning, you know, ATF or aviation turbine fuel or kerosene in uh, liquid oxygen. That's why it's called a semi-cryogenic engine. Uh, so this, it's about 20 meters high, the vehicle, and about 1.3 meters in diameter. Right. One thing that the team has done really well is to come up with this completely unique way of making rocket engines through 3D printing that was a single piece of hardware. So we recently got the opportunity with this you know, support from this new entity in space that has been created by the government and of course ISRO. So we were able to test our engine at ISRO. And that is a huge validation of the technology for us because we were able to match the results that we got at our facility with what we were able to achieve in ISRO. And that basically means that now this engine is ready for flight. Right? That is one of the biggest uh, things for us. Uh, the technology in my understanding is completely new because I don't think anyone else in the world has actually done a single piece rocket engine. In fact, we recently were awarded a patent by the Indian government on this one. We're also filing for a global patent on it. This will basically mean one can make a rocket engine in less than 72 hours. A full rocket engine in less than 72 hours. A rocket company is basically a transportation business company, is space transportation actually. So we talk in terms of how much tons is going to orbit because you get to, you charge your customers on how many kgs you're carrying. So rupees per kg or dollars per kg, whatever it is, that is how you charge customers. So today 100 tons in the small satellite market alone I'm saying, 100 tons is going to orbit every year. So that is sort of the tappable market. That is where you are able to go and make revenue from. Uh, I think today the, 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 with, the, with the current uh, vehicles available in the market, barely 25 to 30% is getting addressed. Yeah. So I think we are all in this game to go and tap into the rest of the market. So our uh, vehicle capacity is to carry up to 300 kgs and we are targeting the class of orbits called low earth orbit. So that means orbits between anywhere between 500 to 700 kilometers. Uh, and uh, the way the industry has developed in India ecosystem wise, lot of expertise uh, is available in various industries. ISRO has actually developed these industries for manufacturing of a lot of the structural components. So. Engine manufacturing will completely happen in-house. All of the design has happened in-house. So we own end-to-end -end of all of the design of the rocket. 
manufacturing of certain common structures like the tanks, the joints and structural items. ISRO has developed the inventor ecosystem, so we go there. In India itself, we can find it. Most electronic components are available within India. Couple of them are not, so those we'll have to you know, import and get it. Manufacturing of PCBs, electronic packages, again, fully within India. So that's how the assembly of the vehicle, integration of the vehicle, again, happens at our facility.